Which one of these would you buy? The $2 per dozen version or the $7 a dozen version? Well, I have an excellent presentation for you because I am an expert at this topic. Of course, it's not an exact science, but I want to share with you some data on eggs that I think will help you choose the right type of egg. So when evaluating eggs, there's a lot of these different terms that are confusing. I'm going to make it extremely simple. The first part of this is just going to be mainly talking about space, how much space the chicken gets. Okay. Unfortunately, 65% of all chickens are in cages. Caged chickens, which is the great majority of all the chickens, are required to get at least 67 square inches. So that's a little bit over eight inches by eight inches of space. Then you get uh, something else called New California caged chickens. They get another couple inches. So that's like a space of 10 and a half inches by 10 and a half inches. And again, not even a square foot of space. Then you graduate into something called cage free right? They're out of the cage. But the question is, how much space do they usually get? They're in a barn with a lot of other chickens. Cage-free chickens get 12 inches by 12 inches, so they get a square foot. Then we get something called free range or something called free roaming. So they get to go around the barn and they get uh, actually two feet by two feet. So it's 24 inches by 24 inches, a little more space. And I think they're also allowed to go outside the barn. There's some whole outside the barn. I don't know when they have access to that. I think when they're laying. And I also don't know if they have the option of stepping on actual grass or just cement. Then we get something called pasture raised, not pasteurized. These chickens get a little bit more than 10 feet by 10 feet. So that's a lot better. Now, if you could find a farmer close to you, maybe at the farmer's market, they're going to probably get a lot more space. And I think that's the chickens that you really want to get their eggs from. Because when we're dealing with space, as you collapse the space in on these chickens, you raise up cortisol, adrenaline. It's not healthy. It's not going to contribute to the health of that chicken or the health of the egg. Chickens were not designed to live without space, just like you're not designed to live in a small area of space. Now, when something says natural, right? These eggs are fresh and natural. That does not mean anything. You could pretty much ignore that and also ignore the like the different grades, it doesn't tell you how healthy that chicken is either. What you want is pasture raised. Now, as far as the feed goes, you have conventional feeds. Sometimes they'll say it's vegetarian feed. Well, versus what else are you gonna feed them? Chicken. Conventional chickens are fed corn and soy, GMO. That means they're sprayed with chemicals. And that also means that they're getting a tremendous amount of omega-6 fatty acids. An average egg is not low in this omega-6 fatty acid. Now you have this ratio. You have the ratios of omega-3 fats to omega-6 fatty acids. And sometimes companies will spike the omega-3 by adding fish feed or fish meal and things like that. And that's fine. But at the same time, they don't lower the omega-6 fatty acids. Now, why is it so important to not consume so much omega-6 fatty acid? Because at least between 25% and 30% of our overall calories in the US is omega-6 seed oils. So adding more omega-6 is not a good thing. These foods high in omega-6 fatty acids uh, really mess with your mitochondria, your energy factory. They leach into the nervous system. And they affect the heart. Uh, they create inflammation. Now, I personally raise chickens for their eggs, and we get a lot of eggs from those chickens. I mean, we probably get maybe nine eggs a day. We can't even eat that much. In nature, these uh, chickens are meant to consume worms, bugs, things like that. And if you're raising chickens, it's very difficult to have enough worms or bugs for them. So what I was using is an organic grain mix for quite some time until I had my eggs tested. And I was kind of shocked to find out that the eggs were pretty high in omega-6 fatty acids. So what did I do? I found a type of feed that's still organic, but it's no soy, no corn. Organic peas, organic barley, oats, wheat, fish meal, calcium, vitamins, minerals. And then I also enhance it with uh, some freeze dried insects, as well as allowing the chickens to roam around and get some space. And so now the omega-6 fats are much, much lower. 
Now, of course, you might not have the space where you can actually have chickens. You might not be uh, close to a farmer's market. So what you want to do, you want to find a store that sells pasture-raised organic eggs. And I'll tell you, it's a little bit more money. It's a few more dollars per dozen, but it's really worth it because you're going to invest in your health. You're also going to support the farmer who really cares about your food. So yes, you can find really cheap eggs, but my whole thought is you're actually investing. It's kind of like an insurance in your own health. So many people, when they actually live on junk food because they're trying to save money, they end up paying a lot more in health cost and the cost of lack of energy, the cost of not having the quality of well-being. And there's also a company called Angel Acres. I've never spoken with them, but what they do is they raise chickens in a super healthy way uh, without doing the soy and the uh, corn. And they've tested their eggs and they're much lower with their omega-6 fatty acids. And yes, they're more expensive, but it's really worth it because you're getting a much higher quality product. Now, there's a lot more really interesting information about eggs that I wanna share with you in this video. Check it out.